Will Ripple's case end on August the 2nd, or do we expect the case to continue on? Guys, today we'll be taking a look at some of the direct connections. Ripple has been taking hits from the SEC for months now, and we might soon see the end of this case. Like I've pointed out several times before, the SEC versus Ripple case is baseless. That's probably the reason why this court case has dragged on for far too long. That said, let's get down to today's topic. Will the Ripple case be done in August? As always, welcome to Moneyside, your favorite crypto channel. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. That way you get updates when we drop new videos. And don't forget to smash that like button. And remember, you can always leave a comment, question, or suggestion in the section below. The, the SEC would also enforce truthfulness, right? right. If you disclose false statements, they would prosecute you for false statements. Yes, but if, if you truthfully say that your business model is, in, is crazy and people still want to buy it, then you can go ahead. Um, but so this comes back to the, the question that is currently in the debate in the US about securities, about cryptocurrencies being securities versus commodities. Obviously, Ripple is being sued by the SEC over this very question, and I don't want to litigate the lawsuit here on stage with you. But can you talk a little bit about how you see that debate that is playing out now? Which, which, which coins should be securities? Which should be commodities? Why does it matter? Yeah. Well, first, let's back. I agree. I don't want to relitigate it here. It's well documented. But let's back up for a moment and just, you know, when Coinbase went public, which really wasn't that long ago, Coinbase was trading XRP. They enabled consumers and businesses, whatever, to trade XRP. The SEC had to approve their S1 such that Coinbase could go public. The SEC now seems to take the position when they sued us that, hey, XRP is a security and always has been, but they approved Coinbase going public even though Coinbase is not a registered broker dealer. So there's some contradictions here of the SEC almost not within its own organization knowing left hand, right hand. Honestly, if you've been following the SEC versus Ripple case from the start, you'll quickly realize that Brad Garlinghouse is not the only one who noticed the double standards in the regulatory body. Sorry to say, but it just so seems that the SEC doesn't really know what they're talking about. Albeit, they've entered the crypto market and started showing off their regulatory badge around when they don't understand the situation. And I think that that's been the biggest challenge in this case. At Mr. Mo Othman states in one of his tweets that August is going to be a chaotic time for everyone. Let's just say things will get a little shaky. Hope it's not too hot outside though, or it's going to get pretty toasty for some people inside their homes. As for Biden, his head is in the clouds, but his body is in the, and from where I stand, he's actually pretty right. All the cards will be laid on the table in August and we will see a change in how leaders deal with crypto. As for President Biden personally, I think that the government may be flawed and his body is probably in the clouds as well. But for you guys crucify me in the section below, hear me out. Imagine if you were in charge of one of the greatest nations in the world, would you really choke off innovations in your country? First step to ensuring any great country maintains its title is by making sure you guys are always ahead of the rest. And for years, the US has always been ahead of the rest of the world. That's actually the reason why most innovative ideas can be traced back to the USA. But what the regulatory body is currently doing to the crypto world is counterproductive. I said it. They don't have any regulatory clarity in place. They have zero basis for going after crypto. And unfortunately, when asked, they believe they're right. Who in this current world does that? The regulatory body should have first ensured there's regulatory clarity before going after any crypto. Then later use the rules and regulations to take down any crypto company that goes against the rules. So with that, Tell me, Brad, what is it about cryptocurrency right now that you think should be more tightly regulated than it is? I think the first thing I think about that maybe should be more clearly regulated, uh, I think about consistency. So I think one of the challenges for every crypto company right now is it's not clear where the rules of the road are. And you have some examples where regulators are going after companies and then you look at another company doing almost the exact same thing and they're not saying anything. And so I, I, the first thing I think about really is just consistency. So everyone has a firm set of rules to follow. As, as you and I kind of were discussing backstage, I think the vast majority of people in the crypto industry want to play by the rules. Let's just be clear about what the rules are. So the, the first thing I think of is just like, let's be super clear about what we're trying to, to regulate. Yeah. 
Today, we now have to refer to the Howey test, which is an old school model to differentiate what is a security and what isn't. The financial world has morphed, though, into something different, and it's up to the SEC to come up with new regulations which can help govern the current world. And that brings me to what's currently going on in court. Since we lack regulatory clarity, the SEC has actually, on more than one occasion, embarrassed itself and its representatives in court, and that's likely to continue. When this court case was filed, we thought the case was going to end within probably a month's time, but it's been dragged on for over a year, and almost two years, and for what? The Right Wabbit made a pretty interesting discovery here in his tweet. It shows that we might see the end of this court case sooner than we thought. However, in my opinion, if the court case ends by the beginning of August, we are bound to see XRP rule the crypto world. Now, I don't know about you, but I see these events are lining up perfectly. Now, what do I mean by that? Are you pretty much convinced then that Europe will experience a recession? Yes. No. Let's take this to the Bank of I France governor. Wrong, and I hope I'm wrong. <laughs> We're now living in a world where the dollar is stronger than the euro. Unfortunately, like you've heard, Europe is most definitely heading for a recession. That means the economy is going to get even worse for them. And what will happen once everyone realizes the economy is bad, they'll run to find solutions that work. Just a few days ago, Ripple was already strategically partnering with financial institutions in Europe. That was a well-calculated move. More importantly, Ripple is also in the advisory board of most, if not all, central banks in Europe. As we speak, Ripple is opening shop in Toronto, Canada. Their tech team is working on NFTs as well. From CBDCs, NFTs, to partnering with big corporations, Ripple is doing it all. And if you watched my videos, you already know a major event is coming in the Bitcoin world in August. No, hold up, have you watched my videos? If not, pause it right now. Go back and check them out, otherwise you will miss out on my next strong point. Now don't worry, we'll, we'll wait for you. Now that the Crypto King might witness another strong bearish movement, it will leave a huge vacuum at the top. And who do you think will fill that vacuum? Well, XRP, of course. At the same time, the SEC case will be over. Guys, I hope you can see all this unfold right before our eyes. This is definitely the best time to go all in with XRP. This coin is set to lead the crypto world to the next phase. We expect nothing but great things from Ripple and its team. And I'm not the only one who sees the future in this coin. Most people are currently saying that XRP is dead. But honestly, how does a dead coin still remain in the top 10, even though the SEC put out a lawsuit against it and a lot of the central exchanges delisted it? Answer me that and you'll know where to put your money. This is the fight of our lives and we're going to win. As always, do your own research and always trade safely, guys. Please keep in mind we're not a licensed financial advisor. All videos on this channel are intended for entertainment purposes only. You can always let us know what you think in the comments section below. And let's have a conversation. Thank you so very much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and please click on that subscribe button below. And turn on notifications so you get informed whenever we post our amazing content. We'll look forward to seeing you on the next Money Side.